In this video, we will discuss creating the master component by using the RC align files created in the previous tutorial. First, we're going to import the point cloud into RC and generate LSPs. To do this, you can start with a E57 or PTX file. To import it, simply drag and drop into RC. Before clicking OK, let's make sure we have the right settings to import the scanned data. Under registration, if your data is pre-registered in an external software, set your registration to exact. If your data is geo-referenced, you can alter it here. In our case, we're using a local coordinate system, so we're going to set geo-reference to no. The feature source should be set to color if you used external imagery with the scanner, as well as the intensity channel type should be set to image. The noise profile to noise free, unless you're using a P20 scanner, which you can then set that. In the output path, you can set with the original files or to a location of your choosing. Once your settings are confirmed, click OK, and the data will import over the next several minutes to an hour. Your data will be generated and the LSP files will be located in the location you specified. In your 1DS view, you will now see the clouds under Point Cloud Rig. The next step is to hit Align to generate the tie points and generate a component. This step is very quick and should only take a few seconds. After alignment is done, we need to select all the LSP inputs and lock their position. To select the inputs, you can select them under the 1DS view or use the camera lasso under the alignment tab. In your 1DS window, the selected inputs will appear. We'll scroll down to lock pose for continue and say yes. And then under prior pose, we'll set the absolute pose to locked. This will ensure that the location and position of the scans will not change as we move forward. The next step is to use the previous RC Align components, which are the photogrammetry interior, the photogrammetry exterior, and the aerial components. We'll drag and drop the RC Align files directly into the window. In the 1DS view, we will select all of our photographic inputs, and we will set the prior pose to unknown. This is done to remove the GPS information from the aerial imagery and allow this component to move to the laser scan data. Prior to alignment, let's go to Alignment, Settings, click Advanced, and under Merge Component Only, let's set that value to True. This setting will allow you to join the components only. RC will not look at new images or cameras while performing the alignment. This creates a faster alignment between the components. We have our detector sensitivity set to medium. If at first the alignment doesn't work, we can go ahead and bump this to high to alter the results to get a single component. After running the alignment, we're gonna do a visual inspection to look for false positive results. To do this, we can use the clipping box tool under the scene ribbon. Now that we have our single component, let's go ahead and select it and rename it master. And now let's do a visual check. You can see here on the first turret, we have two lines on the dome. That's showing some visual misalignment. We can fix that later in the next tutorial where we'll show you about control points. Let's go ahead and verify the rest of the turrets. It looks like the alignment on this one is pretty good. And now let's look at the third one here. The alignment here is spot on as well. And finally, we can see here on the fourth one, we have quite a bit of misalignment, which we're gonna have to go ahead and fix. There can be a number of reasons for false positives. This can be different camera types or sensor types. Different focal lengths is a big reason where we see misalignment between sensors, especially ground photogrammetry and aerial photogrammetry. It can be caused by not enough overlap between images or not enough overlap between the different components we tried to put together. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and learn how to fix these issues by using control points.